All right guys, so here's my waste oil heater that I've been working on. So right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through, right now this is basically a temporary setup. I got the unit on a little mobile cart here. We've just got a quick little container on the bottom. We've got a Harbor Freight clean water pump we're gonna be trying to use for the oil. Basically we're gonna fill this tote with oil. We're gonna run the unit, try and prime the pump. See if we get the pump to suck the oil up through our filter housing into our siphon tank. So I'm gonna get the camera set up and we're gonna fill her up with some oil. So this is the funnel setup I got here. So this is actually a funnel with a screen. I got this off Amazon. That way any particulate and crap that we have in our dirty oil pan, we're gonna collect it on the screen. Filter down into our bottom jug here. This is just a tote bin from Walmart. Hole cut in for the funnel at the top. Another hole for our feed up to our pump. Down in the inside, if you take a look, I actually have, <coughs> there is an inline check valve that I've got inside the tank. This way, hopefully when the pump pulls, primes itself all the way up to the pump, the oil should hopefully only drain back down to the inline uh, check valve. Hopefully that way the pump stays primed. When we go to fire it again, there's not gonna be an issue with trying to reprime the pump. So I'm gonna put a little bit more oil in there We've already got the end of the hose filled up, covered. We'll dump a little more in there and then we'll try to fire it up. This is actually really, really dirty oil. This is out of my diesel truck, so. First thing, we'll try and see the dirty oil, see how that oil burns, and I've got a bunch of other cleaner oil from cars and whatnot. We'll see how it burns and go from there. From what I've heard, pretty much any kind of oil should burn, transmission oil, motor oil, all that kind of crap should be able to burn all of it. So let this drain down, wheel this thing around, and see what she can do. All right, so we're about ready to prime this. The way I have this set up is I have inline relays. So I actually have them all labeled down here. I'll go over possibly a better in-depth video on how I did this, what I did, why I did, what I did, what, what, yeah, whatever. Anyway, the last two relays here are for my heaters. So there's a heater in the siphon tank on the side. There's also a heater that's inside the actual burner itself. So for now, those two relays, I just popped them off, I've got them laying over here. The only thing that should run at this point is going to be the pump on the side. So that should hopefully pump the oil up. We've got an inline oil filter housing, filter out any junk, and it should feed down into our siphon tank where I've got a hot water heater element. You can see the two hoses here on the side. We've got feed and return. I've got them labeled feed, return feed one's longer than the return, the feed is going to feed into our burner itself. The return is going to be extra oil flow back to the tank itself. So we're gonna try and plug this in, flip the on switch. The oil float is all the way down. Pump should kick on and we should get some oil drawn up. We'll let it run for a little bit, get some oil up in there. I do have a timing relay, so it's only gonna pump oil for so long. Right now, I think you've got it set for about five seconds or so. This thing won't focus. After that, we'll see how long it takes to fill a little bit and kind of judge how long we want our relay to run for. Try and get this tank filled up so we can start it.
First five seconds, nothing came up. Press reset, it's gonna run for another five. Still no oil, try again. Still got nothing in the top. I would say this probably filled up the hose, but we gotta fill up that entire oil filter first, so we're just gonna keep running this. not hot. Take a look. We'll run it again. You can see we're going to get a well coming right out the top. So at this point we're just going to keep running it. Try to fill up this tank here. Cover the heater element. Once the heater element's covered then we can go through and try to fire it up. Alright guys, so the other night I tried to fire this thing up, I had some issues so I wasn't able to record, but I went through, I fixed what was wrong with it. There was an issue with the float that was in the side siphon tank over here. I had to float way too high up so that the oil was basically almost coming out the top of where the fittings are, so I readjusted that. I did get to fire, I didn't get to record it, so... Now I've got everything situated, we're going to go ahead, we've got our air plumb to it, we've got it plugged in, so we're going to go ahead, we're going to fire this thing up. On the side panel over here, we'll flip it to on, unit powers up, if we want it to call for heat, 36 degrees out right now, put the switch on off to heat. You can see that our relay, temp controller relay, is now on. That's going to turn on our heater elements on the side here. Both of these are going to be calling for heat, so we're going to start heating the oil in our siphon tank. The nozzle block inside the burner itself is also going to be heating up as well. Once they get to the set point, the burner is going to fire, so pause the video and we'll get back as soon as it goes to fire. So you can see on the side here, our nozzle block on the right, it's already above set point, so we want to see 180 Fahrenheit. It's above. Oil tank on the left, 84, 85. We're trying to get to 100. That's set so it kicks on at 10 below, so we're about to kick on the burner. Output kicks on. Burner's going to try to fire. Didn't fire the first time, it's gonna shut down. It's gonna wait 40 seconds. Try to kick back on. All right guys, we finally got it fired up here. I had to go ahead and adjust the air pressure. So I had it set to about 15 PSI. For some reason, it did not like that for startup. I turned it down to about five PSI on the regulator here. Let it start, then I cranked it back up to 15. Now it's running perfectly fine. So you can see, I zoom in here. You can see there's flame in there. It's a little hard to see in up here. Sometimes you can see it. So right now it's running. There's only a little bit of white smoke comes out the top, nothing crazy. I'm gonna let it run for a while, see what it does. Make sure that the oil pump 
is going to pump more oil back up to the siphon tank on the side. If you take a look in here, our oil right now, 102 degrees Fahrenheit. A little hard to see without the light, but the oil does start bubbling up. So that probe right there in the middle is the temperature probe. Gives us our reading here. So I'm gonna let this run for a little bit. All right guys, I'm just gonna do a quick little walk around here at the end. So burner's on, it's running. Fan's running, blows the warmer out the top. The pump is cycling on and off, filling up the side uh, siphon tank here. I was having an issue during the initial fire up. I was running about 15 PSI. It seems to just keep blowing itself out. So I've dialed it back to around 10, 11 PSI. It seems like it'll fire up now every time at that pressure. So just gonna run it here for a little bit more. Just see how much oil I can dump through here. See if it keeps firing up. Warm up the thermostat. So it kicks off. Let it cool back down. Fire itself back up. Otherwise, seems to be running good for now. If you guys have any questions, just leave a comment in the video. If you want to know information about the burner itself, let me know. I can do another video. I can break down, you know, the parts, the wiring, all that good stuff. So let me know, guys. All right. Thanks.